Studying abroad has been a growing trend worldwide with many students choosing this path. Despite the ongoing pandemic and the outbreak of multiple variants of the coronavirus, the number of international students has experienced an increase of 8.71% in the UK itself last year. The UK is consistently increasing in popularity to international students as it is home to many universities that are highly ranked internationally. This raises the value of a qualification from the UK and may be a great selling point for students to have in their future careers. The experience of studying abroad is known to bring many positive impacts for international students. To be able to gain new perspectives of the world by meeting different people and being exposed to different cultures. To learn to be independent and adapt to a different environment at the same time. It certainly is a life-changing experience for many. However, making the decision to move to another country and be away from family is not easy with a lot to consider. In this documentary, a few international students share how they came to the decision of studying abroad here in the UK. They also share the things that they had to consider along the process. They then share their experience of living in the UK as international students, both the pleasant ones and the bad ones. Hi, my name is June Bellows and I'm from Hamburg, Germany and I study entrepreneurship and innovation at the Northampton University. I came to the decision because I wanted to study business and since the business world is so dominated by English, I thought it would be a very good idea to yeah, study in the UK because if you move somewhere, um, it's a lot easier to learn the language. So yeah, that's why I decided. So studying in Germany is for free, so we don't have to pay any um, tuition fees, which is very good. Um, so that would be one of the cons. Um, also, a lot of my friends stayed in Germany, so that was also something I had to consider before going. My name is Duan Xue Yang. I'm an international student from China. I'm studying international business and finance. Back in China, I studied in an international school, in which my previous school had a partnership program with Northampton University. So I had to come here because it was the only choice given to me. So my name is Tsungai and I'm an international student. I'm from Zimbabwe and I was born and raised there. Yeah, I'd say towards sort of the end of high school, that's when we're being pushed a little bit by our career advisors from uh, my high school. So that's when I came across digital marketing. And I think it was more about finding a university that had that exact course and uh, what I was looking for. So I had a few other options for countries, but I was more drawn to the UK. Hey, hi, my name is Gerard. I'm from Malaysia. I'm currently 23 years old. So I'm here at University of Northampton studying um, Bachelors of Creative Media Production and also Film and Screen Studies. I never actually thought of coming to UK to ever do my degree. But then suddenly we got a message from a college saying that we are all eligible to go for a transfer degree program in uh, University of Northampton. And it was very stressful with the COVID and the situation we are in is that we don't know actually we can come with our vaccination. So getting a visa appointment was really, really tough because there are many students from Malaysia coming over to the UK. I'm quite lucky. I have a group of friends, about six to seven of us. We knew each other from China and came to study here together. During the semester breaks and weekends, we usually get together and cook. During the weekdays, we will also get together to discuss any issues we're dealing with. It could be about assignments or even any troubles we have. So I would say life here in the UK has been quite fulfilling and I'm quite occupied so I don't struggle much with being homesick. Uh, I, I really like badminton, so I'm the captain of the University of Northampton's badminton team. Um, I like how I'm able to bring my hobby or my skill uh, into use and help out the university to conduct every week's badminton session in their uni. I'm a content creator, so that is something where I found had way more opportunity here because there's a lot more brands that are willing to work with sort of influencers or content creators than back home where that's not really an industry that has yet set off. So here I've actually been able to work with a couple of brands and I'm really hoping to build that platform a bit more. 
of course, it's not sunshines and rainbows every single moment. International students are also met with a lot of struggles. So I feel like international students have uh, challenges that probably could be split into three. So uh, assimilation, so how to navigate life in the UK. So whether that's getting an internship or opening a bank account or how to apply for the graduate visa. So these are very practical things that they need help with. And then there's um, culture shock, which is not knowing how to relate to the environment. So not how, you know, like being comfortable with British students and trying to socialize and assimilate with them or just their wider environment. You know, like it's an alien culture. They don't know the social codes, um, things like that. The first three months I was here in the UK, my English was quite poor and it became difficult for me to talk to others. So I was determined to be better, which is why I started travelling around the UK since January this year. I also went to a few countries where speaking English is common, like Morocco. Ever since, my communication skill in English have improved a lot and it's because I stepped out and met different people. But the British seem to enjoy a life of leisure. During the weekends, you see people go out with their families, or travel, or bring their dogs out for walk. They seem to really enjoy life communicating within their communities. But in China, the environment is very competitive. Everyone deals with a lot of pressure, so we don't really have a time to enjoy life like people do here. It was very scary to have to now learn about everything here. And especially since all the shops are different, the brands are different, um, even some of the products, the food is very different. So I found that very challenging to, at first, I realized I was shopping at one of the most expensive supermarkets. Yeah, um, I would say I sometimes do get homesick. So yeah, that is something I struggle with sometimes, but I feel like it gets easier the longer I'm away. And I feel like I also know how to deal with it like I know what to do when I feel homesick and so it does yeah it does get better. On a positive note international students don't have to feel like they have to go through all these difficulties alone as there are many organizations in the UK who provide support and help for international students. Okay so um, I'm Wahida Ashik. I'm the founder of Grow British Mag. We are a podcast, a digital magazine and we provide a service called the UK Survival Service. And we're the UK's only um, media for international students and we try and cover topics uh, that will help them from pre-arrival to getting a job. In order to make the most out of their experience here in the UK, international students are always advised to do plenty of research before deciding on which city, which university and which course they want to study. With social media and the internet being so accessible, students are advised to do their own independent research and not only depend on their agents, on the university and even their friends. And I think also think about what you can do before you arrive in the UK. Don't leave everything to coming here. So try and organise things like your SIM, your bank account, those things with your support of your family in a comfortable environment with lots of time before you arrive here. The graduate visa is a hot topic for international students as they are pushed to plan out their future and consider finding a career and life in the UK. But Wahida believes there is room for improvement. And currently, the um, percentage of international students getting jobs in the UK is 3%. It's really bad. It's very embarrassingly bad. So what I'm hoping the UK government will be doing and the university sector is really helping international students get onto the career ladder and helping them to really understand what they need to do to make themselves more appealing as for a graduate job. Not to work in a takeaway or where, but a graduate job. But I feel international students provide us with so much um, that employers should be desperate to employ you guys. Yeah. Hearing from authentic stories, enlightened with valuable insights, the studying abroad experience is certainly a milestone and can be a beautiful time in one's life. It is an opportunity for one to create good memories, get a good degree, and ensure a good career.